Hello guys, I'm like here, welcome to another Oblivion episode. Uh, the last one was a very short one where we completed the Faithful Squire quest, which all we had to do was walk to Underball Cave um, to complete that quest. Um, obviously we're here for a reason, we want to recover the Sword of a Crusader, um, which Sir Roderick tried to get, um, but unfortunately he was defeated and killed. Uh, but his squire came to us, Lavin, and he's come with us now to hopefully finish the job and recover the sword of the Crusader for the Nine Divines. I've arrived at Underpool Cave, the location of Lord of Lincoln's grave. Sir Roderick died somewhere inside, battling for foul wraith that now wields the sword of a Crusader. And yes, there he is. And uh, let's head down there now. It's not a will of a wisp, is it? No. Okay, there's no one outside. Flower for luck. Okay, let's go into Underpool Cave and see what lies within. Okay, so stealth is not is going to be difficult considering Lavin's just probably going to fight whatever comes out, but... Okay. Nice. Already some decent treasure. You'd expect this place not to be, like, full of enemies since Sir Roderick was here before. You would have thought... He might have taken care of a lot of the enemies. Uh, there's a lot of coffins here. Which was reminding me of our time doing the Museum of Oddities quest. Where we had to open several coffins several times. Um, to find stuff. Uh, none of those ones are openable. But maybe... Maybe... Some of these... Are we going to get a reward for jumping across? No. None of those coffins had anything good in them. Okay. Yeah, this place looks relatively clear. So far. Ooh, this is a nice looking door. And castle area. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about you using a torch. Oh. Are some creatures aggroed onto us? Yes. We have angered a skeleton. Well, I haven't. Maybe Sir Lavin has. I don't think I've been located yet. Got some graves here. Which is interesting. Oh uh, yeah, cool little area. Uh, there's a little... Oh no, that's where we came from. Never mind. Uh, I don't think there's a way up there. Those skeletons... Uh, fortunately are not coming down here. My statue. Any treasure around the back here? Guess not. Yeah, I think they are aggroed onto Lavin, but Lavin hasn't noticed them. Uh, we can't really go up there, can we? So, I guess we'll just have to go through the door. To Underpool Keep. Okay. Oh, there is already a skeleton man. Oh god, we got a lake on us too. It's an Evelyn. Oh, 
Nice. Nice, Lavin. Lavin's helping. Oh, I almost hit him there. <laughs> that could have been bad. Uh, axe, bone meal. Oh yeah, my fatigue. Yeah, it definitely feels like it's regenerating more slowly. Maybe that's what it does as well. Staff of fire and bone meal. Fire damage, 40 points. Not bad. Might come in handy in a bit. But yeah, the problem with having Lavin around is while well, he's cool. He is not going to let us do anything stealthy. Uh, is this anything we can search? No. It's a cool little statue there. Several different pathways to go to. I do wonder if we can get up there. Hmm. Not far away. Damn it. Sorry, Lavin, you must think I'm an, a crazy person right now. And you may be right. Ah, nice. Parkour, indeed. But, uh, no reward, sadly. That would have been nice. Ah, uh, they should have put something up here to reward the, the skilled parkourers. Even with my fatigue deficit, I still managed to do that. So the way forward's this way. So maybe I want to go explore to the right first. Yeah, actually the fatigue debuff is, is not great. I didn't realise it would affect the regen, I thought we just we lose five points. Is it maybe it's a constant effect of losing five points? Rather than Oh, okay. Ah, I'm now dumb. Oh, hello. You'll never take me down. He's good. He's good as Salavan. Staff of Fireball, is that different from the Staff of Fire? 30 points and 10 feet, it's just less damage per AoE. Fair. Staff of Feeble Mind, damage intelligence, yeah. <laughs> a lot of it got reflected onto himself, so maybe he's a dumb one. Okay, anything interesting in this area? Okay, and head up here. Uh, 
Oh, there is a dread zombie. Rakatash and the nine. <laughs> Uh, my, my lack of fatigue is very much hindering my damage here. Lavin might might be necessary to win this fight. Yeah, look at that regen. It's almost outpacing my damage. And my sword is is gone. Um, I don't even have any um, blade weapon, so I'm going to have to use a wall and battle axe here. By the nine divines, assault! Sorry, assault! sorry, Salavan, sorry. I am. Sorry, Salavan. Okay, um. Let's repair my sword. Yeah, we're running a bit short of repair hammers. Headless zombie wasn't so difficult. I'm glad I just <laughs> distracted the, the uh, dread zombie. Uh, I don't know what kind of damage he might have been able to inflict. Not much treasure though in this area. Disappoint. Very disappoint. Yeah, weird, weird little structure here. And this goes to Underpool Keep South Wing. Okay, so we don't need to go in there, apparently. But yeah, it was cool to explore the area, I guess. Haven't found Sir Roderick yet. We'll keep an eye out for him, too. Uh, we'll head straight across this time. By the way, for those wondering about the the curse from the gauntlets of the, I'm oh, sorry, for the curse that we took on from Kellen, uh, there is a way to get rid of it, but it is not possible to do so now. And I don't want to spoil any more than that. Beware! I'm just warming up. Never take me down. Yeah, Lavin sick, Lavin sick, and he heals himself too. Silver claymore, good. A spare blade weapon, and also um, a silver weapon. So if we come across any ghosts, we at least have something we can fight with. Okay, we came from there. There wasn't anything else up here, was there? Yeah, lo lack of treasure here, I have to say. Nothing in here either. And there's another door. Should lead to the north wing. Is also not what we're looking for. Okay, only one more path to go down then. And that is to the right. We have an eerie light. Some more statues. One of them has no head. I hear a ghost. <laughs> There's a mud crab just here. 
for some reason. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to switch to my silver claymore now. Haha. Uh -huh. Down with you and Do the Sorry. Is he actually doing damage to it? I think so. Okay, are we still friends? I'm sorry I keep hitting you, Salavan, but... Sometimes you do tend to run in front of me. Okay, I think, yeah, not much, sorry, excuse me, not much treasure in this area too, it's quite sad. Um, oh, there's a little bit more before we actually go to the next uh, zone. Uh, okay, just bone meal, and ectoplasm. Oh, it's nice shock damage poison. Okay, I hear skeletons behind here. Watch yourself, Salavan. Look out, sir. Oh! Making sure not to hit the guy. Grant you mercy, for I shall not. Trying really hard not to hit our friend. Cool. Elven bow, arrows, bone meal. Now, can he just follow me around all the time? He's he's a very useful ally. Okay, nothing in here either. Wood pool to under pool, wood door to under pool reflecting chamber. Okay, our objective is apparently in this room. Nice, yeah, and different, yeah, definitely a very different layout. This house is quite ruined. Oh, there was a path here as well. Um, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, got a chest, healing. Not too bad. Some Cairn Ballet Cap, which is also basically a healing potion at this point. And a much better one. Uh, Lavin. Oh, he's fighting. I'm going to let him do his thing. Loot that. Can loot that. Clothes, jewel, necklace, and gold. Okay. Ooh, is, is that him? I think that's him, guys. Is he a Grave or is he a Lich? If he's a Lich, I can fight him with my glass sword. Is Lord Beric Vlintral. 
Oh, okay. He is a ghost, so I, I can only fight him with silver. Glad I have it, though. Yeah, I can reflect damage. Ooh, this, this could be tough. Oh, there's a skeleton there too. Ow. Okay, we might need to be a bit more strategic about this. We don't want to be fighting minions. Uh, Laffin, you alive, friend? Let's, uh, let's heal up a little. My magic is getting destroyed as well. Just realized. That should hopefully be enough. Oh no. Okay, I thought I was dead for a second. Nice. The Wraith of Lord Vlingel is destroyed. I need to reclaim the sword of a crusader that he somehow twisted to his evil purpose. In fact, uh, let me switch back to my sword now that I can... I have a feeling Lavin might be dead. I don't know why he hasn't come back yet. I thought he was capable of fighting on his own. Okay. Dwarven bow, dwarven arrows, and all of that. Uh, does he have anything himself? Just ectoplasm, as you'd expect. And sort of a crusader. I have recovered the Sword of the Crusader, but it has been desecrated by the foul wraith that wielded it. I should take it to the Chapel of Arcane Shadenhall to reconsecrate it to its holy purpose. Uh, let's have a look at it. Fire damage, 14 points for 2 seconds on strike, yep. Damage magic for 40 points on strike, yep. That, you felt all of that. Um, interesting. Um, friendly, friendly warning though. Uh, do not equip it. Uh, because it is still cursed, and since you are a good guy, it will actually curse you if you equip it before you take it back to the chapel, and even if you unequip it afterwards, it doesn't work. Cool story. Okay, now we can start grabbing some more stuff. I am still worried about Salavan. It doesn't look like he will be making his return. I hear more ghosts. I don't like hearing more ghosts. Um, I guess I just explore further here. Okay, there's another ghost there. Oh, this wraith's damage. Oh, this wraith must have fought, um, Lavin. Yeah, there he is. Poor fella. He did alright, but... He, he, he needed some help. Yeah, 
Yeah, Lord Blinkle probably would have uh, slapped him up a little bit. Ow. Yeah, the fatigue nerf is not helping. Yeah, he did quite a lot of damage just on his own. Our lack of fatigue makes this makes this difficult. Um, but yeah, we've lost a Lavin, unfortunately. Oh, there's a is that a vampire? Oh, that's Sir Roderick. Oh, we'll come back to him later because I wanted to explore the rest of this cave first and then come back through this way. Oh, so we got one last look at his old master before he passed away. How how very sad. Okay, there's a bunch of water here. This weird, like, dock sort of area. Is there anything up here? I still feel like I hear ghosts. Okay. Uh, let's put on our um, slaughterfish scale charm for now, so we can breathe underwater, so we can explore this at our leisure. Just to see if there's anything cool underwater. I'd imagine in a place like this they'd probably try and hide some cool stuff underwater. Look, there's a chest with bone meal, gold and a lot of it. It's not the best loot in the world, but that would be really cool. Some repair hammers. Give me some repair hammers. Now we're scouring the edges for now. We'll look, some plants. And then we'll go into the center. When we're about done. Okay. I feel like there's probably at least one more thing in here. I mean, it feels nice to be able to look around without having to worry about drowning. Maybe not. But oh well. And what's this? This has got to have something. Yeah, there we go. Hard lock chest. Is 
73 gold. We could do better than that game. Uh, these coffins, yeah, I guess you can't really open coffins underwater. Anything further along here? More coffins, but not lootable. No, I suppose not. Right here, on this little island. No, I think we're... we're oh! How do we get back up here now? Okay. Let's head back then. Uh, we'll do a quick grey cow check. Do I still hear a ghost? I'm wondering if it's... Ah. Oh damn, that, that small fish got smacked. Okay, let's put the hood on, let's put our cruelty's heart back on. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's head back. Oops. Let's do that. Wraith skeleton. I can't tell if our guy killed him or if his skeleton was just there. I think he was probably there. Um, uh, rest in peace, Sir Lavin. Daedric Longsword, though. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, sorry for your death. You got some da you got a Daedric bow as well. Forrester's shirt, zero weight. That could be handy. Curious is broken. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have gone off on your own, but I appreciate you trying, man. Ectoplasm and gold over there. Um, can't open that coffin. There's Sir Roderick. Rest in peace, Sir Roderick. He has a glass longsword too. Boots of a thrall. Heavy armor, 105 feather on self. Pretty good. Don't think we'll ever need it. And it's heavy armor, so he probably won't wear it, but still. Daedric armor. Oh, he has a repair hammer. I love you, Sir Roderick. You legend, dear. And Tomb of Lord Vlingdral. Okay, these are his clothes and armor. Chainmail. Ah, what a peasant. Over encumbered. It's fine, we'll just put on the ring of strength. And we're good. Oh, we didn't see this room either, did we? Back to do some alchemy stuff. Anything behind that? No. More flesh and gold. No lootable coffins, gold.
Yeah, this is the part where Lavin went off to go and fight on his own. Ill advised. But we got some good gear out of it, so. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, we're back to Underpool Cave. Uh, don't know if we want to bother aggroing those skeletons up there. We could just leave, take our prize with us. Okay, so now our next step, we have to go and re-consecrate this sword um, at the chapel of RK because uh, Mr. Vlindrel was, was a naughty boy and he made the sword evil so he could be able to use it. So we need to restore it. So we need to go to Shadenhall Chapel now. I'm so used to going here to go down to the Dark Brotherhood, but I guess we're not doing that this time, are we? It's right there. <laughs> the well, the abandoned house. Alright, let's get that sorely consecrated. Oh no. Well, that is not ideal, is it? Well, looks like Aurorans got here first. I'm not even wearing my mundane ring, so I can't reflect the spells anymore. Although they can hit each other with it. One down. Stopped him in his tracks. He switches, switches hands too, that's pretty cool. The animation can be a bit clunky at times. As you can see there.
Nice. Ooh, I'm dying. Umaril's of ruins have been destroyed. Shaden Hill Chapel is safe. But now I can now reconsecrate the Sword of the Crusader. So I'll okay, on the higher altar. Heal, heal, heal. <laughs> Damn. Daedra Heart, Common Soul Gem, Topaz. Take your... Can we take your weapon? Superb alien battle axe, but we're now over encumbered. Uh, I guess this is where these boots come in handy. Just for the time being. Boots of a thrall. Can you have a weapon? Guess not. See some nice writing there. Probably a, a, a numeral based message. Gold ring, there you go. Hot. Fine alien battle axe. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we're over in combat and we can't exactly use the grey cowl in this situation. Um Alchemy up some health potions. Let's repair up the sword. And let's drop some stuff on this fellow here. Probably stuff like buckled shoes. Uh, what else? Oh, maybe not that. Um, and pants. Alright, that'll do, I suppose. And we could just do that and take this back. Makes sense. And did we, is anyone else dead in here? I don't know. I hope not. I guess these new sounds are because I'm wearing heavy boots, which I don't normally wear. I'm only doing it so I can carry everything. Okay, I didn't see any more dead bodies, so... Oh, there's his weapon. Fine alien battle axe. How did it get on top of here? Okay, well I guess we need to drop some more stuff then. If we want to keep that. Like the spare pelt. And yeah, clothes. Can go. How good is it? 57 to 701. Uh, what's the superb one like? Shock damage 6. These were four. Uh, steel short sword can go. Iron arrows, I guess. And dwarven stuff, perhaps. Yeah, we can drop the dwarven. That lacks. 
The sword of a crusader has been reconsecrated. I now possess all eight of a crusader's relics. I should return to the priory to consult with my knights about how to attack and destroy Umaril. And now the sword weighs stuff, so I can't move. Great. <laughs> um, crusader's arm added. What does that do? Is that an effect? I guess it must be an effect. Crusader's Arm Fortify Blade 10. Uh, does it do anything else? No, just Fortify Blade 10. Okay, never mind. More and bow, I suppose. Elven longsword, maybe. Female greasy is a great value. Uh, yeah, I guess the Knights of a Nine Broken Curus can go as well. Okay, I guess before I go back, uh, or go to the, go to there. I want to go back to my castle, or do I? I should return to the priory to consult with my knights about how to attack and destroy Umaril. So this, is this going to be like the final quest? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I think I want to head back first. Just in case. Drop all my stuff off. Get these uh, clunky boots off of me. Why do I feel faster though? How goes it? Not bad. How about you? I just realized I had a silver claymore. I definitely probably should have dropped before some of the other things I dropped. Oh well. We we move on. Damn, that superb alien battle axe is worth a lot. Uh, not the best effect in the world and not the most damage either. Although that's because I'm not really very good at blunt. Uh, brutes as well. Don't need them on the regular.
Wait, I wasn't wearing these. Oh yeah, I was wearing the uh, the other boots, wasn't I? That were giving me strength so I could carry more stuff. Why was I still carrying this book? <laughs> okay, I believe that's it. Good stuff. Uh, now let's head back. Uh, let's put all of our... Uh, well, I say all of our, just these mundane ring and the boots back up and let's head back to the priory to see what's happening over there well lord crusader the prophet hey, is it's here so he just it's... arrived he seemed to know you were coming told me to wait for you and here you are hey Come. my guy he is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel you should speak to him at once Thank you, Sir Fagret. The prophet has arrived. He is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel. You should speak to him at once. All right, all right. But yeah, Sir Fagret, he's the guy we saved from the, uh, the conjurers at the, uh, um, at Fort Bulwark when we were looking for the shield of a crusader. And he's come back, found his way to the priory, and it looks like he's joined the cause. That is great stuff. Very, very nice. Uh, and actually, that was enough to complete the quest. Um, so yeah, the Sword of the Crusader has been reconsecrated and now possess all eight of the Crusader's relics. Yeah, and I, as soon as I returned, talked to Sir Fegret, the quest got completed. And I guess in the next episode, uh, we are going to um, do the Blessing of Talos quest, which is... Uh, apparently the Prophet is here, so we get to talk to him and see what we should do next, which should be fun. So yeah, to summarize this episode, we entered Underpool Cave with our trusty squire, Sir Lavin. Uh, he helped us a lot, but unfortunately he ended up picking a fight with a few too many ghosts and skeletons and ended up being slain. Uh, but we, we've got his sword, we'll take it into battle, the Daedric Long Sword that he dropped. Um, we took on Lord Vlindral, the, the ex-knight Sir Beric. Uh, we managed to recover the Sword of the Crusader in what was kind of a tough fight. Uh, the sword did damage to us, but we had enough health potions to just heal through the damage. Fatigue nerf we've got from um, Kellen's Curse is definitely not helping us. So hopefully we'll find a cure to that eventually. Um... But yeah, in the next episode, we will be doing the Blessing of Talos. Oh yeah, we had to reconsecrate the, the sword at the Chapel of Arche, where we had to deal with some more Aurorans and take them out as well, which also was a pretty tough fight. Uh, but we managed to get through them all in the end and reconsecrate the sword, so it was no longer cursed. Alright, so the next time we'll do the Blessing of Talos, the Prophet has arrived at the Priory to see me. My knights have gathered in the chapel to listen to him preach. I should speak to him immediately, which we shall do in the next episode. But for now, guys, I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you take care, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye now.